Hello and welcome to another Team Know How tutorial. My name is David and today I'm going to be showing you how to best set up your new Windows 10 computer. This here is the Lenovo Yoga 510, but your computer may look very different. That's absolutely fine. The Windows 10 experience should be exactly the same for you to follow along. Now the first thing you're going to want to do when you take your computer out of the box for the first time is to plug it into the mains. This might sound like an obvious thing to suggest, but your computer is almost guaranteed to be running old software that will need to be updated. By plugging it into mains power, your computer is less likely to hibernate, go into a low power mode or shut off entirely when the battery runs flat and therefore interrupt these initial updates. To ensure your computer is running the latest updates, first click on the start button in the bottom left hand corner of your screen, then go to settings, which is that gear symbol here on the left. In settings, scroll down to find update and security and then click on Windows Update if that's not already selected, followed by Check for Updates. Windows will download any available updates and may prompt you to restart your computer to complete them. Generally, Windows will download future updates in the background without you knowing, and will push a notification to let you know when it's time to restart. If you've ever tried to troubleshoot a particularly tricky issue on a computer, most recommendations online will suggest that you try restoring your computer to an earlier time with a system restore point. It's a good idea to create a restore point while your computer is running like new out of the box, so that if anything were to go wrong in the first few days, you can restore it easily. Windows has a feature to automatically create restore points before installing major updates and app installations, but it isn't always enabled by default. Head to the Start menu, and in the search box that appears at the bottom, search for System Restore. and then select Create a Restore Point. The System Properties window will open up here. Make sure you're in the System Protection tab at the top and then select Configure. Switch on System Protection if it isn't already. Close this window when you're done and then select Create. If you ever need to restore your computer in future, head back to this menu and select the System Restore button. The obvious threat to any Windows PC is the risk of it becoming infected by viruses, keyloggers and malware that could damage your computer, spy on your activities or steal your personal information. Thankfully, Windows 10 comes with a powerful security suite called Windows Defender Security Center. There should be very little setup required here, but before you start using your computer, it's a good idea to get familiar with what it offers and to make sure it's up to date. To do that, click the Start button again and search for Windows Defender Security. In here you'll find headings for virus and threat protection, device performance and health, and firewall and network protection. If anything requires your attention, these sections will let you know. Generally though, if you see a green tick, you're good to go. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, leave a comment if you have any questions, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from Team Nano.